Hey you, this is Intimidating Scones. Welcome back to Let's Vlog. So, as you can see, this is not a different game from... I mean, this is neither Little Inferno or yet a new game, as I promised. Uh, clearly, I'm not keeping my promises on games, partially because I kind of looked through my library and... Clearly the kinds of games I go for are the ones with good storyline and tend to... Oh, that's far away. It's unfortunate. Okay, fine. Um, ones that tend to be more about the story and that's not so good for me talking over. And then the other ones don't have a whole lot of long-term potential. So... Wow. I think that jumped right over that rock. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm basically going to say I'm playing it by ear. No promises. We'll see what happens. Um, wow. Those guys are pretty aggressive. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna continue talking on this series of self-love and um, self-appreciation. Um, one of the things that we talked about last time... Give me a second, I want a sip of tea. Mm, good tea. Oh, this boss. One of the things we talked... Oh, yeah, if I talk over this boss, I'm gonna have my... my face handed to me. Oh, oh, no, I dodged too far. Yeah. Gotta get my bullet hell going. Okay. Oh, oh! I don't know how that didn't hit me, but it didn't. Come on. I know how you do. Oh, okay. No. Oh! Oh crap! Ha! <laughs> Get it? Sorry. Screw you, fella. No. Oh, I tried to dodge down. Oh! That was unpleasant. I don't like that boss. It's really hard when you don't have anything helping you out. Then again, that was something from the last game, that the first boss was a lot of a hassle if um, you didn't get a damage up or anything to help your tears. So, last time we talked about this Epicurean idea of um, finding things about your life that um, are really worth your time. And, uh, oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh. You know what would be really cool is if I uh, continued with Binding of Isaac and one day I was just really, really good at it because all this practice. But for now, I'm getting hit by pooters. Pick that up. Alright, so... Um, finding something um, about myself that I felt was really worthwhile. And... Um, I kind of turned that into a bit of an identity. I, I talked about how uh, the words, oh, the words I used to describe it were important because I didn't really think of myself as an artist, but I did draw, and I cared about that, but I didn't want the title of an artist, whereas even though um, I wasn't published at the time, I thought of myself as a novelist. Wow. 
see, in this fight, I'm just sort of melting through him because I got that nice damage up. Or as much as one melts through the first boss. Balls of steel? Okay. Luck up? Okay. Puberty. And see, it gave me the, the sound like that was bad, so... I wonder if puberty um, causes problems in this game. Okay, onward. So, one of the things I wanted to add to that story, sort of the last part of that story, was how... Turn... Oh. There we go. Um... Oh, I don't have a key. Turning those things that um, you know weren't just things I liked to do, things that I cared about, things that you know I defaulted to. You know, identity almost. Um, interesting. I'm guessing if I get hit, it goes after what hit me. That might be really good for me. Um, but it turned into a sense of self-pride. A sense of I'm a worthwhile person because I do these things. And if you know, these are actually reasons why I kind of like who I am. And I think these are reasons why I'm an interesting person. There's a rock right in front of me. The, the magic mushroom made me bigger, so sometimes I don't notice that I'm just shooting a rock right in front of my face. That's happened twice now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Larry Jr. was like, you know what, you smell, I don't feel like eating you. Come on, Larry. Come on, LJ. Die a little bit. There we go. Damage and range. Okay. I'm good with this. I like staying away from things. Um... I'm gonna take the Book of Belial. I feel like I should take the other thing, but I also feel like I'm so bad that I need my health. Anyway, so these things became a sense of pride. And I wasn't really expecting that. But when it happened, it was a really good feeling to just have an idea of reasons why reasons why I was worth it to fall back on. Yeah, the tack fly definitely. Eh, shoot the fires. See, the scent could be very important. Oh, wow. I think you get more items from shooting things in this game. It seems to be more frequent kind of drops. And if I had another key... Mm. Yeah, okay. Alright, well... That just happened. I'll dump some money in here. Okay, now I don't have to worry about that for the rest of this run. So, I think that's something that's sort of important um, to kind of explore later. You know, that didn't change the, the Devil Room deal. So, I'm not taking it. 
I got the, the left hand. It didn't change the Devil Room deal. I guess that doesn't change the Devil Room deal, does it? it that affects chess. See, I don't expect I know what I'm doing with this game. And that's probably going to be something that I explore um, when I go from the history side of um, of all of this into how it relates to now and the action side of it. Hmm, pills. Oh, okay. Well, I was stuck there for a moment. And puberty. Just in case that actually does do something bad, I'm not gonna pop it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. So, the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video is how I've kind of been using the second person to describe all of this. A little bit of, you know, my past and a little bit of people in general. Okay, I'm gonna go look for the item room because I need all the help I can get. Um. I'm, I'm still pretty powerful for this level, so I shouldn't lose my soul hearts. Shouldn't. May. Oh, nice. Oh dear, okay. Um, so I've been talking about you and people in general and using kind of vague terms. So I kind of want to clarify a little bit of why I've been doing that. The idea behind some of this is... Oh, I didn't think very hard on taking Guppy's tail. Oh well, maybe I can become Guppy. Yay! That was my entire item room. Useful. Oh god, I hate these things. Huh! Take that! Oh, that's unhappy. That's unhappy indeed. Although, I guess, if I've got the left hand, plus Guppy's tail, that actually might be really good. Okay. I shouldn't have survived that, but I did. Um, one of the things that I'm thinking about is when people watch this, they can imagine putting themselves in my shoes. Um, imagine a little bit of what I'm going through and if they would, or what I'm thinking about, you know, what I'm, the existential crisis that I am contemplating. Oh, two Geminis? This is not going to be fun. I'm going to have to kill one baby first because I'm not going to be able to handle two. Oh, well, I don't have a choice. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. Um, and so when, when other people, you know, the, the reason I've sort of been imagining this you and in general um, is because the internet is a pretty safe place to be contemplating, you know, other people's problems. You know, I've had a lot of people kind of not be okay. Wait, where, why do I have a full charge for my Book of Belial? Didn't I just use it on the boss? Oh well. 
Oh no, I have the habit. I probably got hit enough times. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Empress with me. Um, I always get the Empress and um, the High Priestess mixed up because uh, they because I know Tarot and I feel like the High Priestess and the Empress should have been like what they do should have been swapped by what they do in actual tarot. So I'm, all, while all the other ones make a whole lot of tarot sense. Anyway. Oh, crap. But the Empress is actually really good. If it, if I am remembering correctly. Oh, crap. I'm not dodging properly. So the internet is a pretty safe place to be like, okay, well this is what Scones thinks. And I kind of am interested to see if anyone plays along with this. That this idea that I'm gonna be going through these steps, this journey that I've done before, but I'm gonna have to. Because you got B. So I really should have Oh, you know what? I should have come back and seen if I earned the double devil room, traded away all my health, and then... Oh well. Learning. Learning. Um... And thinking about um, how I'm doing all of this, and then possibly other people can kind of do it too. But not necessarily in the, oh, I want to be just like scones kind of way. Because one of the things that helped me the most was, um, remember how I talked about this high school mentor I had, my Latin teacher, um, and how much I respected her? Well, even though I respected her very, very highly, I didn't always agree with her opinion. And... And oftentimes, um, whoa, okay, well, so I thought I could get on the other side of that, but nope. Oh, okay, you're gonna shoot tears at me. Um, the only reason that didn't hit me was pure luck, and I didn't get a key, so I don't get my item room this time. Hey, I know you. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh. Yeah, see, I could have traded away. Oh, except it's no. I guess it didn't matter. Never mind. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that just happened. That was pretty funny. Okay, so this high school mentor of mine, I didn't always agree with, um, with what she had to say. And the fact that I was okay with that, the fact that I realized this is a woman who has a lot more experience than me, and... Um, sees the world a certain way and I see it something different. Actually, I'm going to take the chariot because of the in invincibility that may be really useful to me. Being able to go I think something different and that's okay was really powerful to me. And really um, worth coming to that realization. Um, so that's sort of what I want other people to kind of get from this, that yes, it's kind of interesting that I am blogging about this basically existential crisis when when you come right down to it. Oh, he wants my blood. Um...
And I want people to think about, you know, do I agree? Would I make the same decision in, oh, that was sad, in that situation? This attack fly is kind of like a really smart dead bird. Oh man, I'm gonna get a little bit lost. Because I'm not making an effort to make a mental map. Judgment, judgment, that's the uh... That's the dude. Spawns a beggar. That's what it does. Um, so that's why I'm kind of, you know, talking in this second person. Um, kind of giving this idea of... Uh, I haven't gotten this item yet, so I'm going to pick it up. But I've seen videos of it, and... Yeesh. Darn. I really want that heart. The soul heart. Actually, either at the moment would be nice. So I want other people to basically, you know, decide for themselves with a lot of the stuff I'm talking about, if nothing else, than for the practice of I disagree. And of course, I am taking this with the idea that um, it would be a respectful disagree. Um, oh, well, you know, death. <sighs> oh, why did I come back in here when I know that it's a dead end? Maybe because a nickel is going to drop and I'll be able to get a soul heart. Or a bomb. I guess I could go blow up that shop dude and hope he drops something. I didn't do that already, did I? No, I didn't. So... Oh, spiders. Why is it always spiders? Just die. So it is a little self-serving for me to assume that um, someone would listen to what I have to say and think highly of it enough that it is... Oh, okay. This is going to be a difficult room. Um, but think highly of what I have to say enough that um, it is a little bit difficult to want to disagree. So, there is that. And I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So the closer you get to those things that draw you in, the more powerful it is that they draw you in. So... Oh, I'm glad that didn't hit me. Oh, that's right. I don't have a map, so I don't know why I'm trying to look at my map. Okay. That... Okay, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Come on. Whoa, whoa! Okay, well... That didn't work incredibly well because I ended up getting hit at the end of it. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. Right. I kind of was expecting him to... Oh, crap. That worked out well. Yeah, see, that's what I was expecting him to do. I wasn't expecting him to go so perfectly horizontal. Ooh. 
Okay, let's not blow ourselves up with Bob's brain. Ugh. These little guys. Oh! Come on. I only killed one. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I survived. I shouldn't have, but I did. Oh, devil room. <sighs> Didn't notice the devil room until it was too late. Um, okay, yeah. Those things do come after you. They're basically slides. I think that's what they were called in Zelda, too. But either way... Um... Oh. Yes! Um... No, I have a soul heart, so I'm not gonna die from this. But I am now Guppy. It might be smarter to keep Guppy's paw and give myself three soul hearts every time I die. I think I'm gonna do that. Woohoo! I can fly! That's gonna be a big... A big to-do. Although, apparently Guppy doesn't fly spawn anymore. Doesn't spawn flies. Yes. English. Um, okay, well there's some flies. Maybe Guppy just spawns flies at the end of the room? Oh. Can I, can I go around? I can't technically go around. Oh, that didn't work well. Just, just go. What's this? Oh, magician. So, oh, I blew myself up. So, in tarot, um, the magician, um is actually a card about creativity. Um, particularly in the upright position, in the uh, reverse, the magician reversed is... Um, kind of uh, creative adventures failed. Well, that thing was coming straight for me. It was homing in on me. I wasn't paying attention to that. Let's see, um, let's see, in tarot, the fool is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's a little bit of a, um, beginning of a journey, but more of, um, not knowing what you're doing. Don't be overconfident. It is a little bit about overconfidence, although, um... What is it? Uh, Two of Swords is more about overconfidence. And that's one of the weird things, is that this game didn't have... It just has the Major Arcana in it. It doesn't have, um, you know, the rest of the cards. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> that was a weird room. That would have been a little annoying if I hadn't had flight, but I could have just, you know. Wow, this game is taking severe pity on me. Ow. Hmm. I'm not gonna keep it. <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. Oh dear, okay. Health up. Nice question is, should I just eat it with the paw? Maybe I'll hold on to it. Maybe trade it away later. Uh, I don't know why I'm necessarily exploring. Oh. That's the boss? Then what did I find before? Oh, I found the boss challenge. Oh, I don't need to go to the shop. Let's just go to the boss. Oh, this is mom. 
Okay, well. I'm glad that didn't hit me. Oh, no. Problems. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing awful things. Oh, okay. Yeah, standing in front of the doors is a bad plan. No. Oh! I killed her! Oh my god! I killed her! That was... that was cool. Okay, well, that just happened. Let's see, um... The fool is zero, the magician is one, bombs are key. That would do nothing right now, I guess. I'll just pop it and be on my way. Well, I don't have all the cards memorized. I want to say, um, two is the emperor? Is that right? Um, the Emperor is basically the strong masculine card. Um, okay, well that does nothing because... Balls of Steel, yes please. Um, and I'm trying to remember what the Emperor does in this game. Um, doesn't take you to the Devil Room. Oh, it takes you to the boss room, which I guess kind of makes sense as strong male, um, since Isaac is kind of the male and the bosses are usually considered male, even though Mom is one of the final bosses. But that's why the Empress doesn't make any sense to me, because um, the Empress is the strong female card and um when you have these strong cards reversed um they are strong but misusing their power so that makes sense for you know taking you to the boss room um, for the Emperor, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for the fact that the Empress, I'm pretty sure, is Whore of Babylon. What is that? What is this mess? Oh god! <laughs> oh hey! Um, no, no, I don't really need resources all that much, and... Every heart of mine could be three soul hearts right now, so no. Oh, yep, things on the wall. Gotta pay attention. Pay attention, scones. That thing is scary. Oh, no, no. Ugh. So then, um... The High Priestess is actually the strongest female card. One of the strongest cards in Tarot. Um, oh, that's another thing. The, um, the Empress um, is a card about motherhood as well, which is why I think it ought to be the one that... Um, ow. The one that summons mom's foot. And I could be getting this wrong. I seem to remember that it was um, that the high priestess summons mom's foot, but um, uh, there's no item room on the womb, so let's just keep going. Um, I'm really scared for the heart fight. <sighs> I'm probably not going to survive it. Ah, oh, just hang out in the rocks. Screw you guys. Nobody likes you. I guess I can't hang out in the rocks because I don't have uh, spectral tears. Um, so the the Empress is a motherhood card. Um, it predicts pregnancy as one of the things it does, which is 
kind of creepy. But the High Priestess is um, one of the most powerful cards in tarot. Maybe that's why they decided to make that the one that summons Mom's Foot. It was also the one that in the last game had this glitch where it could basically kill anything if you paused at the right time. Ooh. Okay. I am, I'm unlocking things. Um, but I consider, you know, it should have been something that was attributed to the character, like Horror Babylon was. I mean, not that it really matters that much, because I bet what they were thinking was nobody really knows tarot. That's gonna be- whoa, okay, fine. I mean, I guess I wasn't using that key for anything anyway. Um, that who's gonna know tarot playing this? It doesn't really matter. And I agree. It really doesn't matter. But I think it's interesting, so that's why I'm telling you. Um, let's see. What are some of the other cards? Oh, Temperance is one of my favorite ones. Temperance makes so much sense because um, Temperance is about steadying yourself. Um, it's about handling um, what comes your way calmly and with dignity. And um, so the idea of you know, blood donation of self-sacrifice in that sort of way I thought made a lot of sense for for temperance. Oh, no, no, no. Run away. Hmm. Hmm. So I could just run off to Shoal without defeating the heart. Uh, but I haven't gone up against the heart. But I don't think I'll survive going up against the heart. Oh, let's just do things in order. Okay, let's do this. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Come on, come on. Whoa! Not a good thing! Holy crap, I did it! <laughs> cool! Very cool! Okay, well, let's let's go to Shoal. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> And here I was convinced- oh my god, it's so dark. It is so dark. Okay. Well. Here I was convinced I was bad at this game. Yeah, it is really hard to see the tears being shot at me. Come on. Okay. No, go away. Oh, that was a dead end. Whoa. That's creepy. I'm kind of surprised these things aren't shooting at me or something. Oh, this thing again. Okay, that thing breaks really easily. So I guess it's not as scary as I initially thought. Um... Let's see. Justice, I guess, makes sense because it is the idea of, you know, the card actually is about receiving justice for wrongs. Or that any wrongdoings you have done, justice will be served. Um, okay. Those guys are really hard to see. Are they invisible a little bit through that? Um, so the idea that um, this game is so hard, but justice gives you tons of items, it kind of 
it is very satisfying in that sort of a sense. I'm not exactly sure what the tinted rocks look like in shale. Oh, this is my first time going to get up against the new monster, too. I think. Maybe not. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't move. Don't even breathe. Oh, hi. Little ghosties. I liked that room. That was an easy room. Hmm. Okay, those things blow up. Ugh. When does it end? Oh, it ends here. Nah, I'm gonna run away. Okay. My flies are carrying me through this. Not even gonna lie. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I'm just supposed to blow things up. Um, in case you're wondering, I actually got this far exactly once in the previous game. Okay, well this actually seems like a pretty- Oh! Okay, or not a safe place. Oh, he's gonna stomp on me, Anthony. He's gonna try. Possibly succeed. No, don't hurt me. Attack fly, go! I mean justice fly, or revenge fly, that's what you are. You're a revenge fly. Oh, oh. Okay, well I'm not dead yet. Oh, oh, problem. Die, Satan, die! Oh, I did it! Aha! I did it! Guys! I was not expecting that. Well. Alright. Onward. Yeah. We'll skip that. I unlocked Judas! Cool! Alright, well... I hope you enjoyed that, because I sure did. I'm really happy that I'm actually getting a little bit good at this game. Um, becoming Guppy was really lucky. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you next time.